Yeah, hi everybody, it's DC here. We're just looking at the plasma warp drive, as I call it. Um, well, I, I don't know where to start, but we can, let's start at the beginning. Um, the drawer. Um, the postman's bin. Uh, I've got a brand new watt meter, and it's reading 3.9 watts consumption. And that's going to the globe. And then we've got the copper coil. We've got a capacitor. And we've got a brand new multimeter. Uh, the multimeter is going fr from, well, it's going from 3 amps to 10 amps. So, you can see that, folks. And um, what it is now, uh, if I alter the, if I alter the spark gap, which is here, uh, you'll perhaps see that the meter will go up and down. It's very sensitive. There it's gone altogether, or very little. And then when I bring it back in again, try and get bring it back in to find the the sweet spot on the spark. It's very sensitive, very, very sensitive. I'm trying to to get it back, but it's uh, all over the place at the moment. So it's uh, it's showing quite some ampage there, and obviously the light goes in and out. And um, just testing for test testing for high voltage here. So we've got high voltage, obviously, all over the place. But not this side of the spark gap. There's no high voltage this side of the spark gap, which is quite interesting. Oh, I don't know what quite what's going on there. So, there we go, folks. Um, I hope these readings mean something to you. I'm trying to uh, get the, as accurate measurement as I can. But I'm finding it difficult to, to get an accurate measurement other than this. 3.9 consumption overall at the wall. So there we go, folks. Uh, hope you enjoyed the video. I'm certainly having fun with this. And uh, I haven't blown my new meter up yet, testing. So I suppose there's time yet. Okay, folks. Thank you. DC signing out.